don't actually know if it's streaming me yet. I don't think it is. I've told it to. Um, but I've also got like a live version sitting here and I can't see myself. So that's potentially a problem. <sighs> oh, here we go. Now I'm live. Fantastic. I am uh, like two minutes early, but we all know that I tend to do that. Uh, so for anybody that has never seen my trollop video, we are already editing it. I just like to let you know that. Uh, so for example, these pieces I have made up today. Um, because I can. We are going with, I love this fabric. Hello, guess who Nancy? I'm going to guess it's Nancy. Ha. Uh, somewhere here I have double sided tape. Hello everybody. Ooh, Spain, that's cool. We're international again today. I love it. Always makes me happy. Oh, and Norway. I'm all over the world. <laughs> so cool. Uh, so we are making trollop because I love this pattern and I just don't make enough of them. It is one of my patterns. Uh, it has like a crap ton of pockets. I am putting one less pocket than normal and the flap usually has a section to put like cards I'm not doing that today because I don't want to cover too much of the cool fabric. But that's okay. So I've made these little corner accents, uh, which I will tell you how to do. So I cut a three inch square, then use the template piece to cut the corner and then just cut it diagonally. That was my big moment. Oh, look at that, Colorado, UK, we're all over the place. I love it. So I just, yeah, I decided to do cute little accents because I didn't have a lot of this vinyl. So at the end of the bag, you'll see that I had like a little scrap about this big. So I've just used it as random accents on the bag because it does match really nicely. Um, and so we are on a size four stitch length, like always. Move all of that out of my way. I'm just gonna tap these down at the edges. This fabric is on pre-order with Inklings in the Kraken at the moment, uh, which is why you're seeing so much of it, because it's awesome. Um, and I did a panel on the other day. If you guys don't watch a lot of my videos, I do use the Blue Tongue Lizard panel, and I made a new style bag. Um, so today I'm going to pair it with the Jungle Vine coloured vinyl, and then tomorrow I'm going to pair it with bright yellow because I'm making a point to show you how cool it is with all the different colours. Because it is such a colourful thing, you could also do um, like uh, the Fijian Sunset Orange would go really nicely. Uh, but today I have gone with this one because it matches in with like the bushes really well. And because I'm feeling a little bit like kind of lazy, I went with the thick waterproof canvas in army green to be my matching. So this is my pocket and I'm just going to do one of these. So usually you have two and they sit here and here and then you have your card slot thing, but I'm doing it this way just because I can. Because you can alter patterns and I feel like I should start like a separate YouTube channel on just altering patterns. I have so many ideas. Okay, I can feel that that's stuck. It's going to misbehave and I'm so not interested. Did you hear that? I heard it. I knew it was going to misbehave. I thought I fixed it. I did not. Not a good start to my day. <sighs> Whatever. Bobbin is misbehaving. And I can see that there's a giant lump of thread stuck right there. Good gosh. Ugh. Okay, so I can see part of what my problem is, by the way. There is like a whole bunch of fluff that's making things get stuck. 
Definitely not helping my cause at all. Aha! Got it. And I'm going to take these and get rid of all the fluff that I can see in the way. Do -do -do, do -do -do. In a perfect world, I do this with a stiletto or sewing awl. But. Oh well. Still works with these. It's just a little bit trickier. I haven't cleaned this out in a very long time. This is definitely my own fault. But anyway, we're fine. Let's try that again. Morning everybody that's just popped in. I do have my laptop off to the side uh, so I can see questions and stuff. I've also moved my laptop back, uh, my table back a little bit. All right, let's try that again. Oh, oh, there's more. Look at that. No wonder it wasn't working. <sighs> Would you believe when I'm sewing on my own, these things never happen? It's only ever on video. It's like I'm cursed. So we're doing a Tory pocket on the inside of the flap. This is the inside of the flap. The outside's all fancy. And I will get to that. We're also going to chop off the hundreds of tails that I have created. Now, I'm going to fold this over. And snip in the middle. So I do like using thick waterproof canvas for lining because I don't need to iron anything. Some days I just don't feel like getting up and down at the iron. You know? Hello everybody. I love these scissors. These are $4 scissors from Bunnings. They are amazing. They're designed to cut, um, like cuttings, take cuttings from plants, but they are so good at cutting little stuff. All right, so I'm gonna fold this back, and then I'm gonna fold the other side down. Ooh, snow sounds fun. Shove the pocket through. Hello, Amanda. And fold it down, and look at that, no ironing required. Now, the one thing I haven't done is worked out what colour zipper tape I want. Oh, but while I'm looking for zipper tape, these are the new vinyls that I will have on my website. This glows in the dark, it is amazing. I did order three colours, and I did order more of it, but they were out of stock, so I've only got like a little bit. Uh, so we have blue and pink that glows in the dark. Alright, tub of, what colour hardware did I go with? Gold. So we need gold teeth. Um, nope. Grey could work if there's enough there, but I don't think there is. Dark grey could also work. Oh, that one's lost its rubber band. Look at the mess. I still don't have a rubber band, but it feels better to fold it. So you don't always have to match your zipper to the colour. You just need to have something complementary. So I'm probably going to end up doing grey, I think. Black's too harsh. And yes, I have two giant tubs of zipper. That's the wrong shade of green. I have a lighter grey, maybe lighter grey. Let's have a look. Eh. I should have done this before the video. Uh, forgot. Not even gonna lie. Outright forgot. All right, grey it is. Ugh. This lizard fabric is amazing. Um, so I've, I've already made a Vexa, which I called Vecna. It is Vexa, 
with a Z, not an N. Um, ooh, do I want to go? I don't know which one I want. I still haven't decided. My back is all fixed, thank you for asking. Um, I don't know. They both look alright. We might go dark grey just for something different. Um, so my back's actually fine. Thank you. I have started doing some light stretches. Always a fun one. Alright, one. Two. I know I need a bunch of these, so I figure I may as well just cut them now while I'm here. You could also do different coloured zippers. So you could have the outside zippers with like fancy coloured zipper teeth and then have the insides just plain as well. Alright. Um, I will be making more of the hardware kits for the Sunday release because uh, I imagine most of you will be waiting for that. I've also got more waterproof canvas in. So I've got to cut all that up. It all came yesterday in like four separate packages. I don't know what was going on. I didn't just get like one delivery guy. I had two separate Australia Post people as well as some random couriers drop different stuff off throughout the day. One of them I actually wasn't home for, so my neighbour grabbed it because they were big packages and it was more likely someone was going to try and steal them. I'm just putting these on now so that I don't forget later. So we've got two Tory pockets and then we've got two other types of pockets that I'm putting on this bag. The pattern has an absolute ton of zippers, and you can just choose which ones you want to do. We are making trollop. I cut out a pink glow-in-the-dark trollop, and then I went, ooh, I want to make lots of trollops. So now we're doing the lizard trollop as well. Tori working on a pair of comfy pants. Ooh, comfy pants are amazing. Uh, what part are you confused on? All right, we're gonna lay that down and then just pop this over the top. Yes. Also, as the first of the month in my Facebook group, I have officially put up the place where you post if you're doing the self care. Um, I put up a thing saying pick a number, so I'm hoping that everybody has picked a number. You still can just pick a number now. Um, and then on that day, every single month, you need to put up something that you've done for yourself, whether it's make yourself a bag or a dress, or if you finally took time off and did a puzzle, or we're having a self-care day. And then of those people, every month, at the end of every month, I will turn it off and then you need to, um, you will go into the draw to win one of my Christmas boxes that I still have to design a pattern for, but it's on my list. Marilyn wallets. Oh, I haven't made one of them in a while. Maybe I could do a Marilyn um, one of these. So because this is the flap we sew all the way around this pocket, by the way, for those that have never seen this, I do have other videos up of this bag and I will do another non-live one with my glow-in-the-dark fabric. Um, I just use it as accents because the pink matches really, really well with pixie dust. Uh, and the other one I reckon would go really, really well with marina, which is the dark blue. Just if anyone's interested in that and what it goes with. One flap. So cute. I have um, grouped all the pieces with clips in here because there's a lot of pieces to this pattern. There's a lot. Like an absolute lot. Uh, but it is super cute and totally worth it. So do it. So this is my gusset piece. So I'm just going to build this while we're here. We're doing trollop. Because Trollop is awesome. 
And I love it. Stitch, back stitch. There we go. I haven't made one in ages, actually. Um, and the pieces can potentially look confusing. Make sure you make what they say, right? Because there is method to my madness. So, so like one of them will say cut three exterior and one lining. It makes sense, I promise. You just have to trust the process. Let's do the front. Where's my front flap? Because I like the flat piece. And I got really fancy with it. Here we go. So this is the outside front flap of the bag. It also has a pocket. So, I've actually matched three vinyls for the front. We're going to stitch and back stitch. And then open this out. And then I need to check because I don't remember the seam allowance. So you always do a smaller one. No, I can do more. Right, it's the normal seam allowance. I was just checking. It is relevant, I promise. There we go. And then I'm going to top stitch so it looks pretty. And then down the other side. Because I love a good top stitch. So this textured vinyl is also from Inklings and the Kraken, um, and then this is my one. So that's the bottom of the flap. Now we're going to take one of our pattern pieces here, and one ink ruler if I can get to it. Oh, because I've moved my table, things are in the way. It won't give me my ruler. Hold that thought. I've never had so much trouble getting a ruler off a thing. My gosh. Pen of any description, doesn't really matter which. So we're gonna go like that. And then up the side. Right, so now we now have a box, a rectangle. So we're going to put this in the center. So if you need to, snip the center to find it. And then it goes on the center of the fabric. Relatively self-explanatory there. I'm going to grab some clips so this doesn't move. I do not have the crystal bag as a video. I think the only ones of Lynn, Lynn's handmade I've done is the H2O to go and the wallet. I don't think I've done any of her latest patterns. We're going to stitch these right sides together. And up the end. Tomorrow's video is going to be a Mrs. H's sewing pattern. I have discussed it with her and I now have permission to do some of her videos. Uh, so I've already cut it out and it's this fabric paired with canary yellow because it looks cool. And the tip of those scissors are blunt. So when hubby gets home, I'm going to get him to sharpen my scissors because that's really annoying. Okay, so we're going to fold this up flatten it down then we're going to do the same to the sides you made a video but it's in Norwegian I should totally learn another language that'd be so cool I wonder how hard I am to understand how to make a bag if you don't speak English I have always wondered that I assume people just watch me instead. They don't listen to the words. Turn the volume down. And just copy along. Alright. So this is what it should look like. You now have like a little bit. I'm going to need another one of those zips. Is 
See that? I need to fix that. See how it's bulging there? That is incorrect. I do love this. All my paint here has started to come off, um, but I don't have any backup, so I'd need to get more paint. Uh, I am seriously considering it though. And then I was like, maybe I should talk to an actual professional painter and see if there's something I can do about that. All right, so now this just lines up. The top edge of the zip would, should fit perfectly in here like that. Then we're going to top stitch around. Needle down, come across, hold it as flat as you can. Do, 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 do. I've worked out why I make so much noise. There's normally music going in the background. YouTube gets angry at me for copyright laws if I have music going. Okay. So now this is from the back and this is from the front. And then we just take this piece and add it in to that top edge. So we're just going to tack it on because we'll sew it down properly in a minute. So just tack it really close to the edge. Like that. And then we're just gonna do, close this up. So just pull the top layer out of the way and around we go. And you can do whatever seam allowance you like on pockets. The bigger the seam allowance, the smaller the pocket will be. So if you want a little a pocket, do like a half inch, and if you want a bigger pocket, do like a quarter inch. Backstitch. Trim tails. So now that is closed and fabulous, and yes, it is designed to be like the whole size. Then we're going to grab our top piece and stitch that on. And then when I get close to the zipper, I'm going to zip it over out of the way where I've already been so that it behaves itself. And then if you want to, and I do, we are then going to top stitch this up. And how fun is that flap? It's got like all the colours. You can share your link. I am a sharer. I don't know if you guys have picked up on that yet. I am all about the sharing. You go ahead and put your link up. No issues from me. I encourage all the sewing. I am very aware that I am not the only person that people watch. It doesn't offend me. It's totally fine. Everybody has different ways of teaching. I am not for everyone. I'm okay with that. How cool is that flap? Oh, I love it. All right, put them right sides together. That's because you don't speak Norwegian, mother. Oh, mom, can you share her link? I don't know how quite you're gonna find it. Google it. Feels like a thing. I didn't know only mods could share links. Or is that like an automatic thing? Because I did not deliberately set that up, by the way. I'm not overly great with the whole technology thing. We just got to bear with me on that. Alright, clip together. And stitch. Yeah. Back 
to adjoining stitch lengths might help my cause. Let's turn this out and add our magnet. Oh, I think I've got more turning sticks to put on the website on Sunday as well, guys. Because I love my turning stick. It's making me think of it right now. It's just, you just run it along the seams to turn it through. How good does that flap look? If you wanted to do, do like even extra, you could put like, um, you could do like a reverse applique of a lizard or a snake shape. I didn't think of it and it's too late because I've thrown it together. But now that my brain's thought of it, very cool idea. Okay. Then, magnet. I'm actually going to use a normal magnet today because that's what comes in the packs and I literally just grabbed a pack for the video. And we want to put the thicker one of the two. So I always put the female on the bag and this one will go on a different bit. So what do you do? So there. I'm going to mark it with a removable pen. No, wait, not on the flap. Yes, on the flap. Flap, other bit. No, that makes sense. I thought I was going crazy for a second there. On the flap goes the magnet. Grab a knife. I have a bunch of these, uh, mainly because I keep breaking them. And then stab the holes, but don't stab it through the pocket. Because that's fairly important not to do. But I've also stitched the bottom of the pocket into here, uh, so I have to go around it. Good night! Thank you for popping in! Ugh. I am making this look way more awkward than it needs to be. I should have installed it where you're supposed to, as opposed to now. Um, but such is life. I've got it there, I just can't find the holes and I can't see to know what I'm doing. And bend. And... Almost. The other side doesn't want to bend. See, and this is why I like rivet magnets. Rivet magnets won't ever be in kits though because not everybody has the rivet magnet press. And I don't want to force people to get it if they don't want it. I just like them. All right, push out those corners, make them fabulous. And then we're gonna to top stitch all around the edge. I like to top stitch at an eighth of an inch, which for me is in the middle of the side of my presser foot. And that's how I know what it is. But you can top stitch at a quarter inch, especially if you're new to bag making, because you are more likely to fall off the edge. As such. 
so if you are more comfortable with a thicker seam allowance, that is okay. glory so this is now the flap so that'll be down and then when you lift it up there's a zipper pocket in the flap as well so that you can like better organize yourself if you're somebody that loves pockets this is definitely the bag for you so there's a pocket there which by the way these pockets that I cut that are two pieces is a Tory pocket cut in half so it's super easy to, if you have bought the Tory pocket template it just helps all right, so that's the flap done. Let's go to the front of the bag because that's got like a whole bunch of pieces. These are like the complex parts. So first thing we're gonna do, this is the little flap that's gonna have the magnet. Uh, now if you want to, once you put your magnet on, you can cur cut these edges and make them more curved if you want to. I'm just going to line that up there and then I want to have it down enough so I can still top stitch around because that's also important. One and two. Stab a knife through. I always have the blade pointing up starting at the back and then as you push it will just cut the line for you. Super simple. In she goes. Gasket on. And I have made this wide enough that you can fold them out without top stitching it. I don't have a lid, I lost them. Both my knives don't have lids, but I do always put them back over there. The lids actually broke, would you believe? So not okay. Um, so you can stitch it either side, right sides up. Make sure that you go very slowly around the edges though, because... You really don't want to hit that magnet, uh, the metal. Now you can instead fold your um, tab part inwards. That would probably help. And you can make this skinnier, but I like it like that. So this is now going to hold the bag shut. This is a slip pocket in the front. Oh wow. You know, I haven't stabbed myself, but I'm also very aware of the fact that they exist in there without a lid. So I don't just go like grabbing willy nilly. like an expensive Kaiser craft and the other one's three dollars from like the reject shop they both work the same just so you know all right so it in half yeah I don't sew at night time because I'm tired if I do anything at night time I prep bags for videos the next day because if I forget something I can I always go over it in the morning just to make sure I didn't forget stuff so if I did it's okay So this is the front of the bag. So this will attach to here, but first we're going to have another pocket because that's then the whole size. The bag does make sense in my brain. I love the amount of pockets we've got going on. So we are going to find the centre though, because like everything we need the centre, it's just easier. I need to make a whole bunch of them for my website because I do love this bag. Maybe I'll even make myself a um, Lord of the Rings one. So I bought myself from Inklings, obviously, because I'm obsessed with the fabric. We, we need to, you know, make peace with that. It's going to be a thing. Uh, but I bought Lord of the Rings fabric because I love Lord of the Rings. 
So on the 7th of this month, because that is my number that I picked, so the 7th of every month is my Selfish So Day. So on the 7th of every month, I am either going to make myself a bag or a dress or something for me as opposed to something to sell. Um, and that is the day that I've chosen. So I am going to join you guys with this. See what I'm doing? So this pocket will just be above this. So you can have a zipper pocket and a slip pocket in the front of the bag before you even open it. But what we do need to remember is that there's a seam allowance. So this is where it's going to sit. And shuffle over so it's in the middle. You and up. And back. So I'm using the ruler here and then I am lining up my two middle points here. Then from here I can just clip it in place so it doesn't shift. One at each of the intersection points usually does it. It is, it's not a complicated pattern, it just has a lot of pieces. Because like there's not a single whole panel anywhere really. But I do still love it, so whatever. And this pattern also has, I don't have a finished one to show you, but normally on the flap, when you lift this up, here, there's like a card slot thing to put your cards into. Uh, super handy. So you could have this bag instead of a wallet and a bag for those that don't like to have to necessarily have a wallet or just only really carry their license in their their credit card or whatever yeah. so even though these are my zipper scissors my husband did recently sharpen them so they're good to go floozy as far as little bags are concerned. Temptress is my favourite biggest bag but I have one in mind that I want to design. Oh, I have a few but there's one that I actually want to make myself um, so I will be saving enough Lord of the Rings fabric and I'm just going to have like a match to match set where I'm probably going to do two wallets for myself and three bags and I can just play musical whatever for the day and everything will still match and be fabulous. I'm also going to make a mini first aid kit to go in the bag that'll have band-aids and Panadol and stuff. And yes, I will be videoing this. I am also hacking the wench wallet because I like wench because I have a lot of cards. Uh, but I plan on hacking it. Stay tuned for that. It's going to be awesome. All right. And shove it in. Turn out those things. I always just tuck my thumbs in. It pushes it out really nicely for anyone that's interested. Now I'm going to fold this and then I'm going to get double sided tape because I don't think it's going to stay. In fact, I know it's not. Yoink! And then the other side. Oh, some of the, um, the cam dies came in too for Sunday. It's going to be lots of stuff on the website Sunday. Um, I'm going to ring the place and see if they've got in the blue vinyl yet. I know I don't have any blue at the moment except Blue Lagoon. Not totally my fault. They were out. And then they told me that they were going to call me when it was in and they haven't called me. So I might call them see if it's in yet. They could have just forgotten me. You should definitely make your trollop on your number day. I am promoting self-care and then rewarding somebody for doing self-care. I love this plan. I need to start exercising more. It needs to be part of my self-care. I did take my dog for a walk last night um, and then I came across some kids that were terrorizing a snake and we all know how I feel about snakes so it was a very short-lived walk. Alright, double sided tape holds it down beautifully. 
Uh, whenever putting a Tory Pocket on vinyl, double-sided tape is your friend. Oh yeah. And then we're just going to do another Tory Pocket where we lay it all down and stitch around it. I know I do a lot of these, but I also know that I've convinced a lot of you to buy the template, so I like you to get your money's worth out of things that I convince you to get. It's also why a lot of my patterns come with grommets. Uh, because if I've convinced you to buy the grommet die set, which, you know, is $30, it's not the cheapest thing on the planet, um, I want you to get full use out of it. Needle down, zip it up. Needle down, pivot. I also officially have uh, Dame, which is, I'm going, this year, all pattern themed names are going to be after like titles of women. So like Viscountess and Duchess and Dame and Empress and stuff like that. That's what I'm going with this year. Every year I'm going to switch it up and do something different. And that's what popped into my head this year. One day I'm going to do like obscure breeds of lizards or something. Just because I think it amuses me. I will try and make them pronounceable though, I promise. And we're going to leave the inside pocket open, so I don't have to leave this one open. Oh, the lasers are amazing. I, um, and so this, this Friday, I've decided Friday is laser day for anyone that hasn't kind of caught on to that. So this Friday, we are going to take all of my scissors and we're going to laser them with different crazy sayings and a logo and do all kinds of fun stuff just because we can. Um, and because if you've got a laser, it's something fun to do. And I'm trying to just if you missed that. So one of the scissors is absolutely going to say don't get snippy. Uh, I haven't thought about the rest. Um, I'm thinking one of them might say, I will cut you, but not with these, because, the, again, I think that's funny. We'll see. Funny things on all the scissors. Okay, so now we're going to take this, and this should line up so that you can get to your pocket. Look at that. Beautiful. I actually need to teach my husband how to use a laser. Um... I'm going to give him one for the shed, so he'll have one and then I'll have one. And it also will free up a little bit of room in my office space because both lasers take up a lot of space. So I'm giving Hubby the Atua laser, mainly just because it doesn't fit in the Comgrow laser box that I've got. So it needs to be in the shed or outside. Um, and because, you know, you need extract, you need to be able to extract the smoke and stuff if it's inside, whereas if it's in Hubby's shed, he can just like open a door and it wolfs out. So he will be getting that one. Oh, I could put trim your tails on the snips. Wait, green snips. Oh, I could put it there. See, this is gonna be so much fun. Part of me wants to do a live laser thing, except it takes ages. Ah, can you hear that? I heard that, don't be naughty. That's because it's the end of the bobbin. Here's one I prepared earlier. But yeah, so the only reason I don't do lives on the laser, it's not because I don't want to, it's just because you sit there for a really long time waiting for it to finish. Because uh, every video I put up for you guys to just watch, if you guys watch them, um, I speed it up because otherwise you'll be there for ages. Like sometimes it takes like an hour. We're not all going to just sit there for an hour. It's outrageous. And I can't show you how I set stuff up in Lightburn if I'm live. And I like Lightburn. I actually paid for that program, one of the few programs in life I've paid for, and I regret nothing. Ooh, so that's the front of the bag now. So we've got a slip pocket, and then you've got a zipper pocket, and then we need that little bit. This bit goes in the middle. We found the middle earlier. Boom! And then we're just going to tack that down. I could do a Q&A. I could if you want me to do a live. I can, the scissors would be 
pretty ideal because it is a smaller thing to do. And if I put in the infrared laser, it can laser quicker. Um, you can still do stainless steel with the normal laser, the, the diode one, but the infrared one does go considerably faster. So if you do want a Q&A and do like a live laser thing, we can do that. If that's something you actually want. All right, front of the bag, done. Let's go do the back of the bag. If you've noticed, I'm trying to do more of the outsides first because the inside is just super basic. It's got one zipper pocket and off we go. So the back is going to have the same zipper. We're going to make it the same as the flap. So we're going to do this little box and have it kind of built in. And then again, I've put this on the back to make it fabulous. And then a little accent piece. Because sometimes it's fun to play with colours. Don't be scared to do something out of the ordinary. I do it all the time. Makes me happy. Like, nobody would look at this and go, let's pair it with yellow. But I have, and I guarantee it's going to be bright, happy, and awesome. I never do normal pairings. Well, I do sometimes. And I do if it's a custom order, because they want what they want. Uh, but I try and do, like, stuff that isn't the obvious answer. Like, if the obvious answer is black, I try not to do black. I try and show you a different way. Because it's fun. Alright. So, again, drawing it on. Find the middle. All about the middle, guys. There's also, because this bag isn't very big, you also don't need foam or fleece. Or anything. I mean, you can put fleece if you want to. I wouldn't put foam because it's not a very big bag. That is ultimately your choice. Um, but I find it works fine without it. So we're going to do another one of these cool pockets. Okay. Whoop. You actually want to line it up in the corner properly. You'll notice I don't need my light anymore because I am at a window. Oops. Yeah, that has a flashing function. Because they're technically designed for cars and not sewing machines, but whatever. If you haven't noticed, nothing gets to tell me what to do. This is waterproof. So this is the thick waterproof canvas. This is what they uh, use in America a lot. I think they have easier access to it than my thinner one. I mainly chose it because I wanted the army green and this was in my personal stash. But I also could have used the thinner one. I just didn't have any in my personal stash and I wanted to leave it on the website. And I'm trying to get through my personal stash of stuff. Because I just, I have too much stuff, guys. And this room is not very big compared to like, well, A, my last room, but just in general. It's not a huge room, so I can't just keep hoarding everything ever. So I'm trying to work through it all. I did, however, for my new pattern, I did go and buy uh, fabric, but that is because it was relevant and I didn't have any dog fabric here. And I needed dog fabric, so... That is the only reason I bought my last two pieces of fabric. I've got one for the video that I plan on doing and one for the pattern. And Spotlight just so happened to have um, Dogs of Disney, I believe is what they're going with. So I thought that was pretty cute. Wench definitely needs the thinner waterproof canvas. You can even go as far as the super lightweight one because it'll sit flatter. I would not use this as card slots in the wench. Your wallet will be too thick. Uh, and if you're going to do this in fabric, the pockets, please definitely iron this. I don't have to because it's waterproof canvas and you can finger press it. Alright, now the zip. Now, in the pattern, I put this one backwards um, because then when you're holding the bag, all the zips will go in the same direction. That is your choice. You don't have to do it that way. Do whatever you want. I am not the boss of you. 
Spotlight is now 18 minutes from my house. Uh, so definitely closer. Uh, but I tend to actually, I don't really go there very much. Because I lived in Puckapunyal through COVID, well, and through COVID, everything had to get delivered anyway. So I don't, and because I'm so obsessed with inkling and the crack in the fabric, right? If we, if we be realistic here, I just use their fabric for the most part. Unless I have a, a special request, like an order for something. I'll just use what I've got on hand. Driggle Draggle is a good idea for waterproof canvas and the thick would sit really nicely. For anyone that doesn't know what Driggle Draggle is, I made a toiletry bag that cinches at the top so it's perfect to carry all your stuff if you go like camping or whatever. So if you go camping, you take that bag with you and you can just take all your toiletries with you when you go. Um, I thought it was a cool idea. It wasn't very popular, but if you don't need a toiletry bag, I see why. A lot of my patterns are specific for stuff. So if you don't need it, you don't get it. And that's okay. You sew the pocket first, and when you sew the top bit on, nothing gets in your way. Oh yeah, Ragga Brush now comes in 80% size templates. Um, I need to A, order them for myself. And then B, do a video on the 80% size in comparison to the full size because it's really good size for kids. Leave that with me. I'll add it to my to-do pile this month since we've just started a new month. Do, 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 do. Right. Now I'm going to stitch this on. Joining stitch length and all that jazz. And then when you get to the zipper, zip it out of the way. So if you've got a favourite fabric and you've only got a little bit left, this is actually a really good pattern to put it in because there are so many smaller pieces. So this is pretty much all I had left. There is no more after this. I'm just trying to use fabric and vinyl for your stash. That is a very good plan, although sometimes you will need to get coordinating stuff. Sometimes. Uh, if I don't have a coordinating fabric, I now just do it out of waterproof canvas uh, because I am trying to do the same thing. I don't... You guys should see how much, like, printed vinyl I have purchased from England's and the Kraken. Like, it's outrageous. I've just got piles of it. I can't really see it, but it's, like, where there? You can't see my hand, therefore you can't see it. But behind here, where my hand is, over there, there's a whole bunch of it. Outrageous. Why is that not the same size? What have I done? I don't know what I've done. You know what? We'll just trim it down. It'll be fine. I don't know what I did. I haven't made this in a very long time and clearly I've cut something incorrectly or done a wrong seam allowance somewhere. Take your pick. Whatever. So we have a front and a back and a flap. Right. Do, 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 do. One side. The video, so I do plan on doing another video of this that will be not live. Um, and it will be how to like speed sew it. So instead of explaining every little detail, I will uh, show you how to like link it all up so you have minimal tails and it's a speed sew. Uh, and it will be in the pink.
Uh, up to a four. Top stitch each side because it's pretty and I like to. I'm not speed sewing this one because I'm talking and therefore not paying attention as to what I'm grabbing. So this is one of my patterns. Um, I, I just wanted to bring it back uh, because I've had a lot of new people both subscribe on YouTube and join my Facebook group and they just might not be aware of how cool this pattern is. So I thought I'd do one to show you. And if you still don't like it, that's okay. Flaps aren't for everyone. I'm not offended, such is life. All right, that. Then we'll do the lining. We're doing the strap last, because it's all, we're doing like a cool foldy one, because I want to. We're gonna find the center of both sides. Shocker. Just find the center the easiest way. Ooh, I only have 16,000 subscribers. See, I don't watch those things. People either want to watch me or they don't. You'll subscribe if you want to, and if not, that's okay. I'm not over here worried. By the way, Duke Nukem theme song way back in my head again. I just can't escape it at this point. It's like my sewing mantra. It's like the old school Windows 95 Duke Nukem 3D. That song in my head all the time. So if I had a theme song, I think that's it guys. It does fit in the corners, you just gotta maneuver it. Like everything. Uh, but if you are struggling, you can just do less of a seam allowance here and it theoretically will ease better. Boulder, is there a place called Boulder? That's cool. Does it have lots of boulders? That would make sense. corners which I did this would also actually look really cute with piping guys oh, look at it it's so cute anyway okay what's next zigzag scissors yes also, if you wanted to, just as an afterthought, you could actually come back and top stitch all the way around here. I know some like bag makers do it, but I would probably want to do that on the cylinder arm. Ooh, maybe I'll make tomorrow's video on the cylinder arm. I haven't played with that in a while. I love my cylinder arm. It does not get enough love. That bit's going to be too thick. So we're just going to switch scissors for that. Everybody automatically, I think, would have paired this with brown. That's deliberately why we're not doing that this time. I only paired it with the croc because, you know, reptiles and the skin look and I thought it was all very matchy. The yellow one's going to be like awesomely outrageous. Alright, let's 
Let's grab our back or our front or whatever we're up to. The back. This is the back. Center. Snip. Piping. Yes, piping would look amazing with this bag. Um, for anyone scared of piping, we need to work on that. And we also need to work on being scared of binding. Uh, so my next pattern which comes out, I don't know when, it only went to the testers yesterday, so I give them a minute. They've got to check that I haven't got like weird spelling mistakes. Actual spelling mistakes are no longer a thing, I use spell checker. However, sometimes I accidentally type the wrong word that therefore makes no sense whatsoever. But piping would look very cool on this. Um, maybe I'll cut some out for the other one. So the other one I cut out is, oh, I don't know, but have a look at this one. This is tomorrow's video. So we've done, I want to show you the flap because the flap's going to be amazing. It's the lizard and I centered a lizard, look at my lizard in the middle, because then we take the bright yellow accent. I just want to show you this because I'm so excited, right? And then when the accent's on, the lizard's in the middle and it's so happy and fun. And I'm thinking probably bronze hardware. Probably. Might change my mind. Who knows? I do have a habit of changing my mind. Um, another thing you can do with this bag, if you're doing not vinyl for your center. I would highly recommend um, putting some fusible fleece there to give it structure. I don't need to because I'm using my vinyl. My vinyl's got plenty of structure. It is quite thick, I am aware, but that's why I like it. Another thing that would look really cool with this is uh, Fijian Sunset Orange Vinyl. Or, if you wanted to go darker, you could also go Volcano Red instead of Fire Engine Red. I think that would also look good. Pick colours, basically. Oh, the colours. Ta-da! Do you still have black glitter vinyl? I think I'm out. My glitter vinyl is very thin. Just for anyone that's never bought it. It is thin. However, it is perfect for putting as piping. Because it's not so thick that you can't sell it. tricky but you could use thinner vinyl so my glitter vinyl would be perfect for a domestic machine um or you could use i've never used wax canvas it is something that i need to get onto i want to try it i'm contemplating making it we'll see how i feel corners are good i like to turn the bag out just to check it's nice and chunky this bag Glitter vinyl sold out. There you go. I will get some more in. Um, I'll order some in the coming weeks. No, zigzag scissors. Let's try that again. But no, I do, I do love me some piping. You just need to have the right feet. That's the big thing with piping. Like this foot, no good for piping because you can't get close enough. You need to have a zipper foot. And I've only got a metal zipper foot that's suitable, so I have to put my Teflon tape on, which is fine. It's just, you know, it's an extra process I've got to do. Always trim off the excess. It'll sit nicer, by the way. So at the back, we 
we're going to put right sides together. So I'm going to take my flap and fold it in half just so it fits into the bag. And this is the outside, so it needs to touch the outside. Shove it in. Clip it down. By the way, things are always in the last place you look because you stop looking after you've found it. Right, I'm just going to clip that on the back wall. That's less pieces. Now let's do the inside. This pocket is the one we're going to leave open and turn through, by the way. I'm just going to find the center of everything while I'm doing it. Makes life easier. Do I carry the rivet dies for a size 10? So my, my rivet dies are a 10 mil and then I stock 9 mil rivet dies, but they work for both. So yes, I do. They're technically 10 mil rivet dies. I just stock 9 mil. Alright, uh, lie that about there. You can eyeball where you want this, as long as it's in the middle. Don't start with me. much back stitching just then by the way far too much pretty sure I didn't cut enough zipper pieces either so this pattern does have more stuff and can take longer but I'll just skip some I regret nothing the other one that I do will have all the card slots in it because I want it to. Also, for those of you that don't know, uh, my waterproof canvas, the thin stuff, you can in fact iron. I get this question a lot, so I thought I'd just tell you all now. I iron it from the pretty side up, uh, but I iron it all the time to get creases out. I've had no drama. You can iron this one so long as you iron it right sides up. If you iron it from the back, this rubberiness will get stuck to your iron. Been there, done that. Not fun. But you can iron this from the top uh, and you can iron my thinner one too to get out any creases. And if vinyl comes, if you order large pieces of vinyl, I don't have meter long rolls, so I tend to fold it in half before I roll it up. You can also iron my vinyls from the back to get any creases out. Because sometimes there's just no other way to stick it in. Um, did you know there is a dollar sign in the comments? Cost five dollars to send you a sticker. I'm pretty sure I get the money, but I've never really looked into that. Or I'd get most of it. They might take a percentage. Nobody's ever offered to send one, so I don't actually officially know. Alright, crease down. I'm also going to flip it over, crease it from this side just to make sure it stays. But no, I've never been sent a sticker, so I don't officially know. I can't officially answer that with a correct answer. I can just speculate. It would go, most would probably go to me. I'm sure they take a percentage of it, but I'm not sure how much. I'm watching. I am curious what would happen. Oh, I have chocolate. Oh, bought myself a snack. Oh, there you go. It just popped up. N-O-K. 
I don't, I don't know what NOK stands for. Is that like a AUD type thing? But it's got, it's got a little sticker of you going. That's kind of cool, and it comes up highlighted as well. Just if you're wondering, that is pretty cool. Oh, and there's a thing that says keep it up. Oh, and it's got like little things. It comes all across my screen. It pops up here in bright colors. How cool do they look? Oh, that's a currency. See, I did guess that, but I just wasn't a hundred percent sure. They're cool. I'm not sure what you guys are seeing. Yeah, curly whirly. I felt like some chocolate this morning. Because I was tired. I woke up at like quarter to five. I cut this whole bag out this morning to do a live. Here is the highlighted comment. Oh, it comes up and tells me. Hello, Rena. Rena, I'm really sorry if that's not how you pronounce it, by the way. I'm so bad with pronunciation. I don't mean to be. I just... I don't know. I guess. I'm sure I've pronounced some of the bags wrong in my life. Again, not intentionally. I'm just useless at that. But I can't be good at everything. So, you know. How cool are those stickers and comments? I didn't know that was even a thing. It is definitely highlighted. So it comes up bright blue in a big box and it's nice and thick so I can see it. We are all learning new things today. I have been thinking lately that maybe I should start like a Patreon because they've changed, YouTube's changed all its rules again. Um, but I just don't know what I'd put in Patreon that I don't already give away for free. This is actually where I get to. So a Patreon is where you pay monthly. So some people have it and you pay monthly and, and you get different stuff. So it's like a, it's a revenue stream for me to actually make money instead of just doing everything for free all the time. Except, I don't know. I have thought about it and then I was like, maybe I could do exclusive patterns for a Patreon. So you guys get them like two months ahead and extra videos. I don't know. It's a thought I've been toying with. I know like a lot of people um, have Patreon where you pay like $2 a month for support and then they've got like different tiers. I just, I don't know what I'd put in them. It is a thought that I've been toying with though because as fun as all these videos are, they don't actually make me money. I just do it because I know you guys like it. Oh, well, there you go. Others have said YouTube keeps 30% of the money donated. Well, I will find out for you. And I can keep you all posted on that if you'd like to know. I don't keep secrets from you. The only thing I don't tell you is my source for all my stuff. It's pretty much the only thing I won't tell you in life. And measurements of other people's patterns. Combank app says it went to YouTube and then YouTube will bring it to me. It might either come, it probably comes at the end of the month when they pay me for all the ads at the start of the videos. I also refuse to be that person that puts ads in the middle of their videos. I'm sure that makes me less money. I don't even care. I hate people. I hate watching it something where I'm trying to learn and then an ad pops up in the middle. If I don't really need to know, I tend to close it because it drives me up the wall. So I refuse to be that person. So if there's ever an ad in the middle of my video, please let me know so that I can remove it because sometimes it does it accidentally. I don't know. If we can come up with a cool idea of stuff to do monthly, I will do a Patreon. Maybe I could do like hacking patterns and writing like maybe I could do like an introductory course into writing patterns that could potentially be quite beneficial for a lot of people and how to alter patterns 
how to mesh two patterns together. Like if I like this, but I like that from that pattern, we could do something like that. I could probably release that as a thing. My brain's got so much knowledge. I just don't know what to give on what days. There is a link you can add where people can buy you a coffee that would show up near the like button. That's cool. Except I don't drink coffee. You can buy me a V. <laughs> I've quit Red Bull, by the way, people, because Red Bull makes me wake up in the middle of the night, and when I drink V, I get to sleep the whole night through. So Red Bull is officially banned from my life unless I have a long drive ahead and I don't want to crash. Pattern construction, I would definitely join. See, I could, I could definitely do something like that. There'd be less free videos because I'd be recording those, but that would still be cool. Buy you a beer or a rum or a tequila. Ha! <laughs> Love that. That's cool. Right, pretty sure I just stuffed that up. Oh yeah, it pinched by like one stitch. See that? How annoying. I watched it do it. Oh, actually, what does it look like from the other side? Oh, would you look at that? You can't even see it. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, see, exclusive things, which is fine, but what would I put in there? I could do exclusive content. I reckon I should just bring out videos where it's how to alter and write patterns. Because it's all about maths, and it turns out I was very good at maths. Patterns are all just maths. And even though I'm Australian and we work in centimetres, I write my pattern in inches because I have more Americans follow along than Australians these days. And not only that, all the quilting stuff comes in inches. So like all the rulers and stuff. That's why I do it like that. I mean, it is more work for me, but it's a different type of work. It's still just videos and stuff. I'll just put it on a different platform or however you work it. I don't really know. I'd have to look into that. I hate them. I need to roll and hem them. Neck bands aren't so bad. The buy a coffee doesn't require extra work. People just do it when watching the videos. Okay. I don't mind putting in extra effort, guys. I'm all about the effort. I have a sneaking suspicion I've done the wrong seam allowance here. But anyway, I'll still make it work. It'll still fit. See, that's the thing. How to fit things when you've sewn them wrong. I could totally do a whole video on that. Take ages. Oh, for those that actually have a TikTok, I have been um, strong-armed into getting one, but I'm just going to do like, I don't know, weird little videos. Like I made a dress and then wanted to throw a field with cows in my beautiful dress, because I love my beautiful dress. Um, I put up, actually, I did put up a useful little TikTok hint yesterday, day before. Um, I used my pounce on my templates to mark all the dots for the card slots. It took me like two seconds and all card slots were done. It was amazing. Never even thought to do that, but since I've bought that gadget, I should use it more. V-necks all the way. I suppose it depends, I don't know. I don't mind a round neck. I like a V-neck too. Ah, oh. what is my TikTok link? Uh, seems legit. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. I can check later for you if you'd like. I 
screenshotted it and put it in my Facebook group. So if you guys have Facebook, it's up on there. Um, otherwise, someone that has already joined, if you want to let them know, because I don't know what it is. I'm super new to it all, right? TikTok has the worst privacy issues. If you pay money, they're going to know everything about you and your bank. I'm pretty sure I'm never going to have enough videos to get paid. Nobody's going to pay me for TikTok. My stuff's not that exciting, I wouldn't think. I also don't watch TikTok. To be totally honest, I don't have time. Between making videos, writing patterns, and because all of my videos are different patterns, Every single pattern I do a video on, I have to print it and cut it, and then I cut it out and use it once, and then we move on to the next one. So every day I'm printing and cutting and sticky taping patterns, um, which is all good and well, but if I'm only using it once, that's a lot of time that I'm, you know, not necessarily wasting, but consuming throughout the day. Uh, you know what I did? I wasn't paying attention. See? I'm talking too much. I shut the bottom of the pocket, and this is where we're turning the bag through. So I am now just going to pull it out. It seems legit or seems legit sewing. It will be it will be one of those two things because that's what I name everything so that they're all the same. I like to be able to remember my stuff easily, although clearly it's not working because I don't currently know what it is. Um, but you know, I've only got like four videos and so don't get too excited guys, but I do now have it and I will try and upload like one week where I do something silly or like a tip for sewing or something. It is seems legit sewing. There we go. There was a fair chance that was going to be a thing. So normally I would do this with my quick unpick. If you cut every third or fourth stitch when you want to unpick something, it will just pull out and then you grab the back one and it just comes out. Look at that. Less mess of stuff everywhere. I do have to back stitch here though so it doesn't come out and continue to undo itself because that would suck. So the reason we need this open is this is where I'm going to turn the bag through in a minute. Now I like to put my uh, D-ring connectors on the outside of the bag. This would also be a very cute time to add a strap connector. When I wrote this pattern, I didn't offer strap connectors, which is why it's not part of the pack. Maybe I could rewrite the pattern and update it with strap ends or something. I could do that. All right, inside of the bag. I like this zipper on the back wall where the flap is, so that's the way I'm going to put it in. I'm also going to open my pocket and then just shove everything in because I'm a shovel. And I always do the short side first, and I think I do that because it's quicker. All right, and then one there, and then other short side. If you use an eraser, it gets rid of all the thread. That's cool. I really need to organise some other shaped bowls for those that aren't obsessed with Lord of the Rings like I am. We should all be surrounded by stuff that we love. And I am working on that. Oh, I should probably add it into this side of the zip too. Uh, clips, not zip. Do, 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 do. Voila! What are we doing? Oh, the eraser. Yep. Stitch, back stitch, and off we go. Da, 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 da. by the way, this top seam that I'm stitching right now, you can actually make it any seam allowance your heart desires. You can make it more or less than what's written in the pattern. 
because uh, both sides are the same. Just, you know, one of those random facts I've got in my brain for you. So if you want to do a less of a seam allowance to make the bag a little bit taller, you could definitely do that. Or if it's easier to sew with a lesser seam allowance. Oh. And then we're going to cut a V out of here so that we can top stitch it well. Because otherwise that bit gets too thick. Hello, hello. Don't feel bad, I can't type all the time. I can spell fine. My typing, especially on my phone, uh, is a bit fitty fit. Da, 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 da. All right, here we go. First thing we're going to pull through is the flap, as always, because it is the easiest way to get that bulk done, like so. Then I'm going to grab a corner, and I'm going to poke it, and I'm going to grab that too. And then we start the maneuvering, all right? Pull the flap, then pull your corner, and then pull the flap, and then pull the corner. And I use this hand like a C, and I push the zipper panel, pretty much overall stuff, like that. If you can get your bag to that stage, I promise it will turn through super quick. Sometimes that stage is a little bit harder to get to, but da, 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 it all just kind of falls out. It's like giving birth. Once you get that head through, the rest just falls out. Same with this. I guess that's why they call it birthing the bag. Would make sense. Three new members since the video started. That's cool. Welcome, people, to my group. Well, that's clever. Seam rippers with rubber chips. That would make sense. That's a very good business decision for those people. Except I don't use seam rippers. Every single time I've ever used one. Uh, I tend to make a giant hole in the fabric every time. And I think it's because I'm too impatient. Pretty sure that's what it is. Every time. It's like this magical curse. So that's why there is no longer one in my house. Hi, Chris. Oh, done. And then we'll make the strap. And then we'll attach that strap. Like, that's fine. We have a plan. And backstitch. Oh, it's so pretty. Push the corners of your pocket in. Zipper up. Push the rest of this in. And we're going to push out this because it's not sitting nicely yet. I mean, you can add foam to this bag if you want to. I just don't think it needs it, personally. Yoink! Pull it down. What was the pattern you said I should try of yours? I just made a cuppa. Oh, um... Temptress? Temptress has binding. I love Temptress. I'm about to make myself one. On the 7th of this month, that's what the video is going to be. I've even got a cutout sitting ready. I've got special zipper pulls. Like, I am ready. I'm also going to do embroidery. It's going to be a lot. It's going to be very extra bag, but I'm cool with that. I love Temptress. Makes me happy. Come on, roll the way you meant to. So I'm rolling this to get the seam right at the edge. Except it's being stubborn, and I don't know why. Aha, there we go. YouTube. Ah! I've been here for a while now. Hour and a half? Um, sewing off camera, I am actually faster. I get sidetracked talking. I know that. Not that it's a competition or a race or anything like that. It's just, you know. If you're going to do a video of it, um, I will send it to you. Let me send you the pattern. Just give me a minute. 
or an hour, half an hour, however long I'm going to take. The strap's going to be like one of those cool double foldy ones. We're doing, we're doing the strap from the Temptress, funnily enough, because I feel like just doing something different. That's another thing. Mix and match your straps. Actually, that's another pattern I want to bring out. I've got a really cool strap idea. See, it's going to see this? It's going to need a Tory squish. But you don't necessarily need to Tory squish if you put piping in because it does it for you. If you don't want to do this and violently manhandle your bag, you can instead use these. If I've convinced you to buy these yet, these things are awesome. Um, and also, I'll show you what they do. So see how thick this is? See that? How it's thicker and it bulges out? Push this. Get the pliers. Not the clips. Squish. I use two hands. And then boom! Look! It's as flat as the rest of it. Those pliers are amazing. So especially if you're on a domestic machine, I don't even, like, I don't offer these. I don't stock them. I'm not making money by telling you to do this. They're just awesome. I am paying, I try to pay attention to the chat. Sometimes I miss a little bit. Yeah, I talk a lot. And then I stop. Like, right now I'm stopping A, to read the comments, and then I'm going to stop to reply to you, which is fine. It doesn't really bother me. This bag is amazing. And you just get to stare at the pretty fabrics for longer. But I'd also like to point out how well it matches with the green because it's not something that somebody would have picked. And then it's just got little accents of the cool textured stuff. Everyone's a winner. <sighs> Makes me happy. All right. Let me have a drink. V. They didn't have the smaller cans in my defense. I went there this morning. They only, this was the only sugar free version they had anywhere. All right. We're going to push that zipper down and then we're also going to make sure that this zipper is down out of the way because we don't want to run over the zippers. Very important. I'm going to sew it with uh, lining side up so I don't have to turn the bag inside out again. But you can turn the bag or if you've got a cylinder arm, you sew it on there. And I'm not going to back stitch. One of those few times in life where I'm actually not going to do it. Oh, I love this bag so much. It's so pretty. That's it. I need to make more for my website. expensive like print and you don't want to use a lot of it this is a good way to showcase it without like drowning yourself in the pattern too because it is a busy print but it works so well when you accent it I think that's why I like her design so much what can I say I'm just obsessed with all the stuff she does I can't help it Everyone's got their thing. You should see some of the other ones coming up. Oh my god, I'm so excited. They're just sitting there and staring at me, going, make me, make me. The big flat pliers, they're called leather, leather work pliers or leather tool pliers. I bought them, they were about $12 on eBay. Um, that was a while ago. I'm sure they've gone up like everything else in the world. Um... But I use them a lot. Like, did you? I don't know if you were paying attention when I went over those bits, but because I squished it, it was a non-event. How cute's the front of that closure, right? It lifts down like that instead. I'm very proud of this. I like this bag. What can I say? Bye, Rena. Uh, so my next pattern is going to be super basic. Uh, we're going back to basics and you're doing binding. That's where we're at. It's going to be a dog walking bag that's got the little hole to pull out the dog troop bags. Um, so, but I have specifically gone and bought screw in grommets so that those, and it's bigger. So it's a bigger hole than the 12 mil and they're screw in so you don't need to buy like rivet set dies for them. I did put a lot of thought into that too. How cute is this? 
Oh my god! I love it so much. Ooh. I'm very aware that I get overly excited about this stuff. So I've still, these are going to be the strap connectors. And then this is my strap. We're going to do that now. I used sheet metal pliers with rubber coating. So that would work too. You just need any pliers that don't have the teeth inside. That's pretty much all they are. And you can get these, they come in different thicknesses. So I got the medium. They have a short one and then a huge one. But I decided that was too big. So I went with medium because, you know, happy middle ground. But I love them. They magnetize to my ruler magnet thing. This is a knife magnet that you can get from Big W. And I think Spotlight has them and a bunch of other places. You can get it from House, but they're more expensive for the same thing. Oh, it looks so pretty. Right, let's make the strap. I'm getting sidetracked by staring at the bag. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Yep, key fobs. You can squish them for key fobs. That would also work. I mean, options, people. So, how I'm going to make this is I'm going to draw on it because it just feels like the easy way. I am going to draw half an inch in from each side. I've got this in one of my different patterns. I'm just going to tell you the measurements. It's fine. Key fob tool maker. There you go. They've got different names depending on where you buy it. Mine are just flat and metal. This is not a very good pen for what I'm trying to do. Where's a better pen? What do we got? Uh, nope, nope, nope. Right, no better pen there. Let me get a pen. I can see one. It's just behind me. Aha! Pen. Oh, I really like this. I just keep staring at it. I'm happy with my fabric choices. Sometimes I get very happy, as you can tell. Whatever. Ooh! Snowing. I don't actually love snow. It's way too cold for me. It gives me asthma. Not the most enjoyable life experience. I can promise you that. Although, in, I've been here since what? January? December. Late December. Uh, not a single asthma attack, people. As opposed to my like one a day where I used to live. It's amazing. What am I doing, you may ask? I'm measuring half inch so that I know where to stick stuff and fold stuff and make sure it's in the middle. But if I put a line down the middle, that's actually not going to help me this time. So I'm measuring the two sides instead. Because I just, I feel like doing something different. I get sick of making the same strap all the time. So let's just do a different one. The only downside to this strap is it does take longer. But worth it in my opinion. Double sided tape. Are we still looking for houses? I am still looking for houses. I will still look until I find one. Um, and we will do a grand gloriousness when I set up my sewing space. Uh, I will be adding cupboards to walls. That is point number one. Uh, because floor space is clearly mostly my problem. So there will be cupboards like everywhere. Like attached to the wall. And then there'll be like a bench underneath. So all the stuff that requires benches can just live under the cupboards and all the stuff. I have plans, people. I have plans. When all I had was a pair of my hobby's pliers that left marks, I put a piece of double-sided tape over the rough edges. See, that works. I did do that for a while. If you can't afford those pliers, you can just... I used to just, like, stuff fabric in there. It is a thing. It's just, you know, it can be annoying. Love it. All right, so I fold it over the raw edge, and then this should line up perfectly between your two lines. And that's why we do it. See, look at that. It's so pretty. So again, I'm being extra today. I know that. But the bag looks amazing. I love grommets. I do try, so when I convince you to buy like grommets or different rivet dies or whatever, I do also try to make sure I design more than one pattern so that you haven't just bought it for one thing. 
which is why I've got a few bags with grommets. And I could probably also, like this bag you could do with grommets. You could put grommets on the side and then have clips on the end of your strap to attach it. That would totally 100% work. I'm just cutting off the end crap bit because I haven't done that yet. What inf interfacing? So the fabric has my hefty, which is 10 violin 1050F, which is also similar to Form Fuse 1600, which I think is like SF 101, I think. My hefty, the thicker stuff. That's what I used um, on the fabric. And then all the vinyl, none. None on the vinyl because my vinyl's thick enough that look, it's standing up by itself. Didn't need it. You could put fusible fleece if you wanted to. Um, but I didn't. Oh, am I going to want to do that? Am I going to want to double fold that? I don't think I am. Right, so we've got some options. The idea of this is that we fold it over and then fold it over again so there's no raw edges. But that's a really small fold over, and I think we're going to be here forever. So what we might do instead is, I'm going to be lazy. Hi, Shelly. I understand. Enjoy your dinner. I'm going to get, I have a plan, people. I have a plan. So I was going to double fold this over, right? So where you fold the edge into the edge of the fabric and then we fold over again and it makes this very cuteness. However, because it's only a one inch strap, I'm not doing that. So what we're going to do is cut off a quarter inch and then just fold it over. So we'll have a raw edge and I'm pretty okay with that decision. It's also going to require less clips on my behalf. So. Rotary cutter, I love my little one. I actually use this a lot more than the big one now. It's little and you can hold it like a pen and you can literally just be like, Whoop. love this one, if you can't tell. So I'm gonna use my tiny little cutting board that is designed, I actually bought it to do on videos. And we're going to trim and then adjust and then trim and then adjust. And this is gonna look like I'm being crooked but it's just because of the way it's laying so i'm just taking off that little bit so now i can just fold that over and boom much quicker and i'm not really worried about the raw edge of this either it's not like it's bright pink or anything and even if it was that could be fun i will do the proper one in a not live video because uh, i've got this cut out for the pink one as well well that's the other thing the double fold would make it a lot thicker um so let's not do that either. I'm just going to trim it off. I had good intentions, I promise. And don't throw this out. If you wanted to, you could use this as accent on other things. It's a very real possibility. Nearly there. One side down, one to go. In fact, I might sew the one side down, then I'll come back and cut it off. So you could just stitch that down the center on something to make it fun and exciting. In the meantime, let's sew one side because I can. So we're just gonna fold it. I'm just gonna fold it over as I go. So you fold it at the edge of the fabric. It's very, very easy. On a full stitch length, we're going to stitch two or three because I missed. And then we're just going to fold it as we go. Now, the reason I'm doing it like this is because it's actually quicker than going along and clipping it all. Because who can be bothered with that? Certainly not me. I'll tell you that right now. My fingernails work as very good clips, by the way. Keeps my actual fingers out of the way, holds everything in place. This is why I get fake nails. Over and stitch. Over 
and stitch. There we go. And stitch. Oh, that fabric is moving. Get your butt back there. How rude. So this is just going to have a little bit parking out. This bag is going to be adorable. Slow and steady, guys. Slow and steady. Notice I'm talking less because I'm concentrating. <laughs> Happens sometimes. Not very often do I stop talking, but concentration is key. One half done. It already looks cool. Look at that. Yes. Right, let's cut off the other bit. You can definitely turn this into a tassel. Chop it into pieces, off you go. Tassel, yes. All right. Whoopsies. Oh, I love this bag. I don't know why I don't make more. I think it's a time thing. I would love to fill my website with all my patterns, but I also do YouTube videos of like all the other ones. All right, fold that back and over. That's another thing. Any pattern that you have seen, you can take the strap that you like from the pattern and put it onto any bag. So this I originally did in my Temptress pattern. Now Temptress is definitely not a beginner pattern. Um, the pipe, uh, the, it's binding on the inside and some of it's quite thick and tricky, but I do love Temptress very, very much. I did make one for myself out of leather. I'm about to make another one for myself out of the Lord of the Rings stuff. Uh, I decide, I couldn't decide on leather or vinyl, but I've decided to do vinyl purely so I can embroider it because my embroidery machine does not like embroidering leather at all in any way, shape or form. Been there, tried that. Snaps needles or doesn't stitch or whatever it does. And I'm sure there's a something I could fix, but meh, we're not going to do that. I do do a lot. I get a lot done in a day. I really do. It's because I'm up at like 5 a.m. That's why. But I stop sewing at like 4.30 in the afternoon. Like 4.30 is the end of my work day. So if you message me after that, I might reply and I might not. And please don't be offended if I don't. It's just, it's the end of my work day. I'm like, yeah, deal with it in the morning. All right, let's fold over the other side. Stitch, back stitch, and off we go. So again, I've got a fun contrasting thread color. Because it's my vinyl, I'm not really worried about it bending. I know it looks like it is a little bit there, but it'll get over it. You like a little energizer bunny. I really am. I have a lot of energy. I have always had a lot of energy. I have just found some way to constructively use most of it now, which is kind of cool. Some days, however, and I know I need to fix that, but some days lately I've been forgetting to do the mail and I very much apologize and I'm gonna work on that. Um, I might set an alarm every day and be like, mail time. Because sometimes I just get sidetracked. By the time I look at the clock, I'm like, yeah, not getting to the post office. And most packages are too big to fit into post box. I have to walk them into the place. 
Uh, but I'm going to most likely pick a time of the day and set an alarm so I do the postage every day. That is the only thing I've been like slipping on since I've lived in this house. So it is something I will get to. I just have, it will actually fall over as you stitch. Oh, I wish I knew that 20 minutes ago. Hallelujah. All right, let's do this. Lord of the Rings, yes. Love Lord of the Rings so much, so much. really well with the bag and then the connectors are the accent color so everything is like incorporated and I've used up uh, all my scraps of this because I didn't know what else I was gonna do with it. it wasn't big enough to be a wallet it was like a weird shape did I cut the wrong size Oh, I totally cut the wrong size. So, we're going to fix that. It does match my green machine. Alright, so what I'm doing, I'm leaving a gap because they're a little bit too... Nope, right, that's not it. Come on. All right, plan B. Bear with me on this. We're gonna have some raw edges. So I cut these the wrong thickness because let's be honest, I wasn't paying attention. These things happen. So what I'm going to do now instead is just cut them down to a size I actually want them and just double them instead. <sighs> Watch me go. Nothing defeats me. There is always a way to fix all problems. Please know that. Right. Boom. Shagalaga. It does need a touch up, I am aware. I don't have any more of the paint. Uh, a new tin's about $15, I think. And to be honest, I don't have a spare $15 to be spending on this because I need to buy, my website needs zipper tape and vinyl and I'm sure there's other things. All right, now prices averted. Now because we're going to rivet these on, it actually doesn't matter how thick they are. You obviously don't want them too thin, they'll rip. But the, the problem of too thick isn't really a problem. So we're just going to stitch the sides. Can you please show us your new green sewing awl? Oh yes, I got a sewing awl in the mail and I have another one coming from a lovely lady in America. But it's green machine coloured. It's like a Tory one. And it's got pointy bits on both ends. I forgot that was there earlier when I needed it, didn't I? All right, so we're gonna stitch. Oh, I just ran out of thread. Of course I did. That is all coming out, by the way. We are not leaving that there. Why would you do that to me? I was so close. At least I didn't run out on the big strap. That would have annoyed me so much more than here. But we're going to see all of these. We're not going to tuck any raw edge anywhere. So we need to make sure it's pretty. So we are going to... Oh my god, what am I doing? 
I'm so used to not having it anymore. Ah. Right. Let's do another bobbin. Did I just sing out loud? Did I just start doing the Jude Newcomb theme song out loud? Oh my god. I'm sorry. I thought it was in my head. I swear I was just singing in my head. Did it just come out? <gasps> I can't help it. It's like stuck in my head. It's my, my sewing theme song. If it wasn't copyrighted, I'd put it at like the start of stuff. It pushes the oil through your machine. So especially if you're a slow sewer, and there's nothing wrong with that, but just make sure you do this at full speed. It'll pump all the oil into the bits. Hello. I don't know why the Jute Newcomb thing is my sewing live song. I don't know how that happened. It's also from like 20 odd years or 25 years ago in my life. Like, I don't know why it's still in my brain. Really needs to go away though. Okay, stitch, back stitch. I do love Driggle Draggle. I literally designed Driggle Draggle because my mate goes camping a lot and I wanted to make her a toiletry bag that she could carry to like the toilets because um, she was talking about how she forgets stuff. So I literally designed that pattern so I could make her one. And yes, I could have probably found somebody else's pattern, but where's the fun in that? I enjoy designing stuff. You don't need to have to sew that. I never sew at full speed unless it's certain straps. Certain straps I'll sew full speed. Um, but otherwise, not really. Like I could sew this faster, but I also know if I did, I'd run off the end and we can't have that. So I'm sewing all four edges just so it's pretty. Okay, so these are probably too long, but it's just going to be more decorative. It actually doesn't matter. So they're just going to go over this edge like that, and then we're going to clip them down. So it doesn't matter that they're longer, it's just more of an accent. Um, so if you open it on Google Docs, you can then download it as a PDF, if that sentence helps you at all. If you've already designed it and it's like a document, there's also like document converters that are free online. So this is what we're going with. And then we're just gonna whoop, down the center like that. And that's literally where it's gonna sit with two rivets because it'll look pretty. The Tiny Dancer is so cute. I love the straps on Tiny Dancer. We are going to use some clips. You could also, if you want to, use some double-sided tape. But do you see where I'm going with this, right? And then it's just cute, accent on the side, and we just rivet it. So it uses two rivets to hold it in place. We are going to use some double-sided tape, I've just decided. My brain seriously has issues. It won't stop. Yoink. One and two. Let's do the other one.
but a little So how I do my patterns, if anyone's interested at all, I take photos throughout, I edit them on the phone, and then I send them to myself in Messenger, and then just drag them from Messenger into Google Docs, because that's what works. If they're pictures, you can usually save pictures as PDF, depending on what program you've got. I use a free program called Inkscape, which is like a dodgy version of Adobe Photoshop just like a simpler got less cool stuff going on but it works for what I need it for and then you can save it in there as a thing see how cool is that if you don't like this look you can actually sew them into the seam as well if you want or you could do grommets on the side there's like a million different options but the double-sided tape's gonna hold it in place while I rivet it we might put both sides on so that I can do it all at once no I'll do one side yeah rivets in my new thing that separates the two sides love this a lot we've also got a strap connector that we're going to need in a minute but i'm going to attach these first because it feels like a better idea i do try i actually thought about maybe going through and revamping some of my earlier patterns because i haven't looked at the instructions in a while and i'm sure i could probably do better um don't I? What? And two. Yoink. I mean, I like my patterns, but I I write them more for me. So I can make it, to be totally honest. And I like to be able to have different skill sets to show, like teach people. So the next pattern, Dame, has binding. And I want people to try it so then they can go and make the beautiful Temptress bag. Because Temptress was too much of a big leap into binding for people that are new to bag making. Look at that. I do like this. It is looking fabulous. What would be also really cool on the flap, if you were that way inclined, is if you did, you did your print here, and then you have this with embroidery, because it's perfect for like a four by four design, just as a random thought for you all. all right, in the middle, squish it in half, in the middle, down she pops. That was a little bit crooked. I felt that. Oh my god, it looks so cute. I'm so happy. Yoink. You could also, if you wanted to, put strap ends on here. Uh, this one doesn't need it, but you could. Very real thing. One. We can even rivet that now. This is a really cute everyday bag if you don't need a big bag. You can also be very organized in it. I don't know why I'm doing this sitting down. I always manage to do rivets better standing up. Also, when I buy a house, I will be mounting these off the edge like this with the big bolt holes that they come with. Uh, because it's going to be easier. I've also seen this cool thing where you can attach like a foot pedal so that instead of having to squish it with your hand, you stand on a lever pedal thing and it will punch it. So very real possibility that my husband's going to be forced to do a video on that. I could make it, but he'll want to, so I'll just record him doing so. Yoink! Oh my god! Well done. So up and down. Now you can stitch this if you want to, but we all know I'm going to do a rivet. I have not got your package yet. I actually thought one of them was going to be yesterday's because I had like 
a lot of packages show up from all different couriers, but it was not yours, no, not yet. I am very excited though. So yeah, my uh, my dream sewing room that I will build when we own a house is going to have a foot pedal press. Probably both of them will end up being foot pedal ones, but whatever. So, with this facing out and the bag facing me, I am going to go down into one end, making sure it's not twisted, then go up, through, and then back through. And then before I tie this on, I'm going to trim off all those tails because they're in the way. Chop and chop. Right. Then we're going to go on the outside and then come in so that we don't see it from the outside. You can, if you put a strap end on, you actually go that way so that you see the strap end. But because I'm not putting a strap end, we go inwards. Amazing. See, again, I don't want to sell it, but I have to because I don't need a gazillion bags. Squish! Through the hole. Rip it on. Move that one. So good. Look at that. It's amazing. And the strap looks awesome. Oh, it's so pretty. Open. So then you've got a slip pocket in the front and a zipper pocket and then a zipper pocket in there and a zipper pocket here and a zipper pocket on the back. And if you wanted to, you could have done the slip zipper combo that we did on the front on the back, depending on how many pockets your life requires. And I like that this goes up. I don't know. I've always loved this. This is my favourite part of the whole bag. Not that the other parts aren't cool too, but this, I don't know. It Because it's not normal, I think. Normally you would just have a magnet and stick it down. But I just, I like something a bit different. Whatever. Anyway, there we go guys. We have a finished bag. Uh, so, if you want this fabric, Inklings in the Kraken, uh, it's only open until the 6th of this month, I believe, it closes. And then the 7th, it'll be my special day. So that fluked out quite well. Oh, it's so pretty. Let's see it on my shoulder. Hold on. Oh, let me frolic you up here. I have no makeup on today. Look at that. It's like little and cute and fabulous. <laughs> so happy. So happy. And then down and up. And that way it's still not all the way up in your armpit either, right? Yes. Fabulousness everywhere. All right, guys. So if you want this pattern, it's on my website. Uh, there is a step-by-step -step other video as well on how to make it. This was just like a fun live version with the awesome fabric because I loved my idea that I got going on. <sighs> I'm very happy. Anyway, thank you all for popping in too. We ended up with like a lot of people today. And I'm pretty, pretty excited about that. Tomorrow will be the Mrs. H pattern with the bright yellow to give it a completely different look. Um, so, so far we've done orange and brown, green, and then we'll do yellow. Uh, it would also go pretty well with Volcano Red, but I don't think I've got any in my stash. But I will see, and if I do, we'll do that as well. All right, I am off to... What have I, I don't even know what I'm up to next. Put this on the website. That's what I'm going to go do. All right, guys. Thank you all for joining me, and I will see you all on the next one. Bye-bye.